Hi, this is Guy Hutchinson. This is Pointless Nostalgia. I'm in Leonardo, New Jersey in front of the Quick Stop and look, they're not even open yet. So at the beginning of Clerks 2, starts out with Dante arriving here, just pulling on the, uh, on the lock over here. You can see this fence in the background. And he pulls these open and the whole thing is on fire. So we're going to be going through uh, nearby towns, mostly Middletown. We're also going to be in Atlantic Highlands and the Highlands. Ooh, we got a cat Mexican standoff over here. Hold on. Uh, now they gave up. They were staring each other down hard, but now they're two black cats crossing the street. I'm going to go the other way when I, when I drive through. Now you can see everything is burned up. The firefighters were taking care of it. Randall shows up and he walks right through the door here. And then you would have had all the fire trucks and everything would have been here. Now across the street, this was a field. So all of these condos, townhouses, none of these were here when Clerks was filmed or when Clerks 2 was filmed. So they're all put up in the past 10, 15 years. So this whole empty lot is now full but yeah, you would have had all the fire trucks and everything out here. You can see that they changed the fence here. I'm going to put the, uh, the shot in so you can look at it and we'll compare them. But there was a different fence here. It's kind of falling apart. Looks like this is a nice new black fence. But this is all the same. Payphone almost still here. So this would have been where uh, RST Video was, by the way. And then the quick stop entrance is here. And now Kevin Smith has his own business here. So I guess he owns, I think he owns all these buildings now, except for the quick stop, but maybe he owns that now. But here you go, here's the Smod Castle. So what we're going to be seeing is all of the locations that they are in, in New Jersey, in Clerks 2. So they start out here, they end up here, uh, but in between they pass by a bunch of locations and then the rest of the film is done in California. So I'll explain it all as we go along, but here it is. Stop number one, quick stop on fire. The quick stop burns down. Dante is in his car driving to go pick up Randall and they drive under this beautiful stone bridge. We got to take a good look at this. Look at this. this car drives right through here. You can match up that it's this side of the bridge because the rocks are all unique. So if you look in the shot, you can match up the curvature of the rocks over here and the curvature of the rocks here. The uh, trees and everything are much fuller now. In the movie, all the leaves are scattered all along here. But look at this beautiful bridge. There's a set of stairs over here, so we're gonna see if we can go up to the top. But first, let's cross under the bridge. They've got a logo of some kind here, and then on the other side, like a, I think that's called a keystone. On the other side, they have the date you can see, by the way, where the light fixture is when he drives under. Look at this. This is really something. This is beautiful. So he would have driven through and continued this way. So this is the side you would not see in the movie. It says it was built in 1895. Still standing.
yeah, here's the top of the bridge. Dante's car would have been driving right along here. kind of narrow. I want to make sure I don't get clobbered here. But it is a beautiful old bridge. Right, I'm across the street here so I can show you what it looks like. You can see one car has to stop for the other. All right, here it is. And this would have been the direction he was heading. From here, Dante drives over to pick up Randall, and then they start their trip to the movies. They're gonna pass by a bunch of fast food locations, and so will we. So let's go. Not the most even and easy stairs to, to climb. I'm glad there, there is a railing to hold on to, because these are all bumpy. After the quick stop burns down, uh, Dante drives over to pick up Randall. This house used to be Kevin Smith's childhood home. They've actually lifted the house up and put it on stilts. Uh, it's right over here near the ocean. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. I'll match up the shot real quick, and then we'll move on to the next place. Yeah, the car would have been right over in this area. We would have seen the house here. He would have walked across the uh, hood of the car, gotten in, and they would have headed over in this direction. Randall gets in the car and he talks to Dante about how it's Dante's last day in New Jersey and then they packed up and they're going and Randall suggests he do something big to let people know he was here and Dante just wants to let people know he wasn't an a-hole uh, and that all happens in the car and then since they're going eventually to go to the movies uh, to set up the fast food nature of it you've got uh, I think it's the talking heads the song nothing but flowers which says there was a Pizza Hut, now there was... So they play that song and they drive down this road. And uh, we're gonna see some of the locations right here on this road. Two out of three of them haven't changed. One of them has changed, so let's take a look. Now you see this uh, King's Highway sign in the picture, right in front of this Wendy's. And I think the building is the same. That doesn't look like a brand new Wendy's or anything. So I think that's the exact same building. And this might be the same sign. I feel like signs got to change over time, but this is the same tree. You see this tree in the shot? The shot actually, the way it's lined up, the pole is right in the middle. And it's right out here, right on 35. And the Kings Highway is right over this way. Can I help you? Hi, could I get a small black coffee, please? Sure. And that's it. All right, no problem. Thank you. You're welcome. As I'm waiting for my coffee, I do want to say I've been to Buena Park, and I did go to where they shot Clerks too. When I went there, it was already a parking lot, and the movie was pretty new, so they had quickly demolished that Burger King. Uh, I did eat at that Burger King when it was open, weirdly, uh, because it was right near Knott's Berry Farm. And uh, I don't know, I like going over in that area. I didn't go for Knott's Berry Farm though. I went for the wax museum that was over there. But here we are. Behold, the evil clown of Middletown. Look at this, Circus Wines. Here's the sign. This thing is great. We're gonna take a close look. I don't know what he's doing with his hand, uh, but I love this clown. We're gonna look at him on both sides. He's right out here on the highway. 
And here he is. There's been talk over the years of him being demolished, so I'm glad to see he has not been. And I hope he's here for a long time. This is a bird sitting up on top of his finger there. Another one on top of his head. He is very big. I'm gonna stand up right next to him. Looks like they might have, oh, that's just a light. I was gonna say some kind of security alarm that might go off. But, so my head comes to about here on the side. So this is a, a big, tall sign. And here's the opposite side. Showing the clown in reverse. Looks like he was holding a balloon. I don't know why he, it just seems like a weird place to hold it. That's all I'm saying. But here he is. He's right on the highway. Uh, they actually, the, this is all somewhat out of sequence. So they would not have passed him last. They would actually pass him in between going to the Wendy's passing by the Wendy's and passing by the McDonald's. He actually would be in the middle. He's very close to the McDonald's, but they show it in the order they wanted to show it. Yeah, here he is. I don't know what's going on here. On this side, there's all this like black tape. I don't know what had been affixed to him for a while, but thankfully it is gone. I think the thumbnail has to be this guy, right? It's gotta be the thumbnail. This is what people are going to click on. There he is. That is great. He's easy to miss, too, because the way that the, the road bends, uh, if you're switching over from the other side, you drive right past. I almost drove right past him. There he is. All right, let's go. So we pass by the Wendy's and then theoretically they would have passed by this but again as I told you it's on the other side of the street and actually in between they passed by the Pizza Hut which would actually be just past this so everything's showing a little bit out of order I'm so excited that this McDonald's is still here you don't see these red roof McDonald's much anymore I bet in five years this will be replaced with a big box McDonald's. This does have a boxy side here, which you do see in the movie. This looks exactly as it did then. Other than a new paint job, it looks, uh, looks the same. They got billions and billions of served. McDonald's, you did it. You made it. You've sold so many. I like this Ronald McDonald. Look at this. This looks like it's a... Almost like a light bright. I think it's like all little LEDs. Ronald McDonald's, our second clown of the day. And yeah, here it is. I'm going to go inside. We'll see what it looks like inside. Never seen this before. It is a golf themed McDonald's. Look at this. They've got Payne Stewart, the late Payne Stewart. Got this signed memorial tournament. Here are the famous signatures on there, including Payne Stewart. Don't know which one was his, but that's pretty great. And then they have just other old, uh, this Arnold Palmer at his last British Open. And another one of Arnold Palmer with Tiger Woods over here. That is pretty great. Yeah, very cool. All right, so we're gonna walk out. We're actually just gonna walk over to where the Pizza Hut was because it's right next door. So in the movie, they drive by Pizza Hut and sadly, Pizza Huts are going away. I love Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut was my childhood, man. It was the big birthday party place. And this was the pizza place. This was it, Pizza Hut. That was the... Uh, the red roof, I don't think they changed the building because the building's in the exact same spot precisely. So I think this is as good of a cover job as you can do on an original red roof Pizza Hut. Now I know it was here. I know there wasn't a different Pizza Hut because when they drive by, and I'll put the shot in, but you see this building next door, this floor covering building. 
and it still looks exactly the same with those big green awnings family owned for 56 years but you couldn't keep the pizza hut in business Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, the Pizza Hut would have been here. And now it's the Children's Health Center. So yeah, now it's a doctor's office. I feel like some pediatric places, they give stickers to the kids. You gotta give them pepperonis. You gotta give them little pepperonis. Like if they need to like uh, give you a urine test, you gotta use one of those red Pizza Hut cups. That's what, that's what you need to do. You gotta theme your place. You should have just kept it as a Pizza Hut and made it a Pizza Hut doctor's <laughs> office. All right, that guy's in, that guy's in, his his horn is in, he waved too. Oh. All right, we're gonna go to our last stop, last stop from here. So we've done this road, did it out of order. I wanted to do it in order, but would have been a lot of turning around. Now we're gonna go back to our first stop, which is our last stop, let's go. Over 99 billion served on this side. They couldn't put a hundred. I'm sure it's been a hundred billion. I've also never known, is that referring to people or burgers? Because how would they know how many people? They know how many customers, but a lot of repeat customers. All right, well, I hope you last a long time, Red Roof McDonald's, right next to old Red Roof Pizza Hut, keeping the Red Roof dream alive. So then they pull back up here to the quick stop and he parks on the curb over here and there's a field behind him. And he would have been parked right here. And you would have seen the quick stop here in the distance. And he would have said, oh, I'm glad they smited that place. And Randall wasn't so wasn't so pleased to be moving on to working at the uh, movies and then they'd take off right from here. So after the scene here, there's a title card and then they cut to the movies, which was filmed at an old Burger King in Buena Park, California. It's right across from Knott's Berry Farm, uh, but that's all out in California. So they filmed that in California and, and every other scene after that. So all of the New Jersey stuff is done when they when they pull away from here. And so that means we're done. Right now, a box is gonna pop up here and a box over here, and you can choose either one. I'm in both of them. Glad you enjoyed this one. Come back tomorrow at two o'clock. Got a new video right here, right here on Pointless Nostalgia. I'll see you then.